Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today I want to show you how you can deposit and withdraw money from Binance. First of all, if you don't have a Binance account yet, I put a link down in the description that you can use to sign up. And if you use that link, you can take part in special promotions and you will save fees on your trading fees. So once you have an account, you need to verify your account in order to deposit um, your local currencies. So for example, for me, I'm in Germany, in Europe, so I can deposit euros. And if you are in Britain, you can deposit British pounds, Australia, Australian dollars and so on. And um, however, you need to be verified. And once you have done that, and you can actually click on deposit here, and then you have two options. You can either deposit a cryptocurrency which is pretty straightforward. You just select the cryptocurrency and then they show you an address where you can send the cryptocurrency to. And that's basically free. So you can test it out with a small amount. However, if you want to deposit your local currency, you need to click on deposit um, here. And then you can actually deposit your local currencies and as I said, for me, it's euro. And for me, um, the option to do that would be the bank transfer. So here it's called SIPA. Or I could use a credit card. However, with a credit card, they charge you a 2% fee, which is quite high. So I would always recommend using the bank transfer. And then you just click continue here. And then um, you type in how much you want to deposit. And then it basically shows you how much you will receive. So as I said, um, the maximum amount of fee you have to pay for a deposit is one euro. So I will receive one euro less than the amount I would be depositing. And then you can basically see where you can send the money to. Here you have to know um, your bank account and um, your Binance account have to be under the same name. Um, so you can transfer money from your wife's bank account to your own um, Binance account. That wouldn't work. It has to be under your name. And you also have to include in your bank transfer the reference code. Um, so that are two of the things you have to be aware of. And you can also try it out with a small amount. I mean, you pay one euro as a fee, as a deposit fee. However, um, it's better than losing your money. So you can try it out with a small amount and then they basically give you an account number where you can send the money to. And for me, for example, I have a Revolut account and it's usually there within minutes. So it's pretty straight forward. If you want to withdraw, you can again um, use a bank transfer. So it's SIPA again here. And um, you can also try out the other SIPA here. However, um, you just type in how much you want to receive. And you add your account here and then they basically wire you the money. However, you have to make sure that you have your local currency in your wallet. So if you have, for example, Bitcoin here on Binance and you can't withdraw Bitcoin to your bank account, you first have to sell it. You can do that here under convert. And then you could convert your, um, let's say with USDT, you can convert that to Euro. And then um, you will be able to select an amount and then you would be able to um, withdraw that to your bank account. So you can't withdraw any other currency than your local currency. Like for me, it would be your, and you have to be aware of, of that. That's basically it. If you have any questions about it, um, please feel free to use the comments down below. If you find that video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.